Hey guys, today we're going to go through how to install a 10 circuit transfer switch here that I got from Connecticut Electric. With this transfer switch, I'll be able to turn on and off different circuits in my house based on how much energy is left in my battery pack. So this has 10 different circuits on it. The bottom two here are set up right now for 240 volt, but if you remove the two screws in each one of these bridges here, you will be able to turn them back into a 120 volt switch. So I'm gonna have everything set up for 120 volts because my portable solar generator is only capable of 120 volts. I have the front cover off here because I am gonna switch the wires so that they come out this side rather than this side so that it will work better with my setup. So how the transfer switch works is every one of these wires is labeled. And if you look close, you'll be able to see this one has a B on it and this one has a B on it. So you're gonna take this and hook it up to your circuit panel. And in your circuit panel, you have breakers. So the way you're supposed to hook this up is you will take this black wire out of the breaker and you'll use a wire nut and connect the black two black wires together. So the black wire that comes that was in the circuit breaker, you're going to take that out and hook it up to this black wire here. Then this red wire here, you will strip it back and, and insert it into the circuit breaker and tighten it down. And then this load, whatever was on here, is now going to be on load B of the breaker panel here. And it's as simple as that. The transfer switch comes with this 18 inch piece of conduit that all the wire runs through into the box. So it makes it easy for hookup. So then on the bottom here, there is a set of wires, uh, four wires here. That goes to the generator outlet. Now my outlet's gonna be on the outside of the house. So we're gonna have to extend this out. I'm actually gonna run these back up into here and into the panel and I have a wire already in the panel box for the outlet for the generator plug. So these will get grouped into here. So that will all be done underneath this cover and I'll have to extend these out a little longer. There's also a, a green and a white wire and this is to be hooked up on this, the main panel. Uh, this will go to your, your neutral bar and this will go to your ground bar. So when this is hooked up and you're set up to be running on Let's say we got the switch here for B, we got it set to run line. It's going to run just as if it was running through the breaker originally. And then if you flip the switch up, now it's going to bypass this breaker and it's going to take power from here rather than from the panel and it's going to feed it back into your circuits. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to reroute the wires into the conduit and get it all hooked up and show you what it looks like when it's done. As you can see, I got these pieces removed here. So now they're back set to 120 volts. And then I got the wires switched to the other side. The nice thing is it came with this cover and it's a waterproof cover. So if you were to mount this outside, you would be good to go. And you can see I got it on this side now. And I ran the extra generator cords through this conduit. So now the next step is to get it mounted up on the wall and begin doing the wiring process. So as you can see, we have all the wires wired in. I left the bottom two open. Uh, we'll make a decision later on, on what we want to have on those circuits. But for now, this is what we decided to go with. These top uh, six circuits are 15 amp. The bottom four are 20 amp. Now, all the wiring is 12 gauge wiring. So these could all be run on 20 amp. You just have to get a different circuit breaker for them. So there's, it's a three-way switch. If you push it in the middle, then it's off. And if you push it all the way up, then it'll go to the generator. Or all the way down is the grid. If you don't have a labeler, I'd highly recommend this guy right here. I'll put a link in the description for you. It's uh, battery powered. I've used the snot out of this thing and still haven't charged it yet. It hooks up to the phone and it's super quick and easy to whip out a label. Hands down the best labeler I've used. And I'll also put a link in the description for this panel here. If you're looking to put in a critical load panel, I'd highly recommend this guy here. All right, next step is getting the plug set up for the generator to be plugged in. So I'll take you over to the garage and show you that setup. All right, so here is the box to plug the cord into. It comes with this 10 foot cord. Uh, wiring this box up is pretty straightforward. You open this cover and there's four wires there. You just match up red to red, black to black, white to white, and green to green, and you're good to go. Next step will be to mount this to the wall, but for testing purposes, we're gonna just leave it here and give it a quick test, see if everything works as it should. All right, so now I've got the cord run over to here, to this adapter here. This adapter is the key part to make this whole setup work, to take your 120 and put it on both legs. So you won't get 240, but you'll have power to both legs. I'll put a link in the description for this adapter. 
All right, so now that we have the solar generator hooked up to this critical load transfer switch, we're going to go ahead and start switching stuff to the generator. As you can see, the watts go up on the screen when we switched it over. So right now, the basement lights are drawn 143 watts. We'll switch the kitchen lights over. And you see the watts are going up. Bedroom lights. Switch the garage over. So now the Opez generator is powering some of the loads in the house. Currently is drawing 472 watts. Estimated runtime is five hours. I do have another battery coming for this. Hopefully in the next uh, week or so I'll get that. It'll double the runtime of this. I've been super happy with this generator so far. As far as solar generators go, it has the best bang for its buck. And the amount of solar input in it is pretty incredible for this unit. So I'll leave a link in the description for this guy as well. And I'll give you a coupon code to save you an extra 5% off. I know currently they're running a sale. I don't know how long it'll go, but they've got them marked down pretty heavily. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button. We like to post a video every couple of weeks, different tips and tricks that we do around our homestead here to make our life easier. So thanks again for watching and have a blessed day.